Welcome back to my channel. This is a workflow I use to generate basic images. And it's got Z image uh, all in one. Uh, BF16 doesn't work on mine, run out of memory, so I'm using the FP8. And generate an image 1024 by 1024. And it's a portrait of a woman, red jacket, and Q prompt. So that's basically a basic prompt. Let's uh, change it up a bit. A close up camera angle about a woman, her eyes closed and a serene expression. The image also shows a young woman with light skin wearing a red hoodie in the middle of the frame. She appears to be in her late 20s with long brown hair and her eyes closed. Her expression is calm and relaxed. Her background is blurry but it appears to be a forest setting with lots of trees and greenery. The light is soft and natural, coming from the left side, left side of the image. So that's quite a decent prompt. And uh, what I usually used to do is copy this, save it to a text file that I can re uh, reference later to use the prompt, which is kind of tedious. Other option is to let the image run, a uh, prompt run, and use the image drop it into comfy ui and you get the workflow with the prompt in it so let's run this so you're doing it and then you thought cancel that i don't want it i don't want that uh just uh i want a, a boat you run that then you realize hang on a sec i need to go back to my prompt i shouldn't have deleted it so let's cancel that and use my node gr prompt viewer let's reduce the size of this and this connects to this and for example there's no files at the moment because this recently we just loaded the node up so we're going to create a prompt similar to the one I had before so I copied it earlier so we can save this save as say um, woman scenes of women closed eyes.txt so now we've got a folder called scenes of women and closed eyes.txt and in autosave we've got nothing. So let's go back to scenes of women and run this. So now because we saved this it's not going to autosave but if we change it for example we we'll get rid of the logo and run it. So now if we go to autosave we have this prompt there. So we can clear this and just type in random what, whatsoever a cat in a hat wearing holding a bat so let's run this so let's try a bat hitting a oh sitting on a mat if we go to root then go to autosave and they're there but it didn't update because we're not in a separate folder for example if we go to here and change this to cat in a hat wearing a mat sitting and sitting and frowning So now if we go to autosave, we should see cat in a hat wearing the one we saved was this. It autosaved. So autosave works, doesn't matter as long as you're not in the autosave folder. You all get saved into the custom nodes folder. 
So you'll be going to customize of your comfy UI, find um, the folder with my notes, go into the notes folder and in the prompts. We've got two folders. Let's create another folder. Say so save this as a uh, Let's go back to autosave, uh, cat in a hat, and we save as in say cats, cat in a hat frowning.txt. So now, if we go back to the folder, we've got a folder called cats, cat in a hat frowning. Uh, as you can see from the autosave, it's got the four prompts we run that didn't get saved and it saved them with the date and the time including seconds and the first six words of the actual prompt so it makes it easy to find.